versus man. Day versus night. This movie versus my expectations. But regardless of how this latest incarnation of these characters goes over, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman will always be cool. Which is why today we're going to pay tribute by making 3D art pieces of their iconic logos. First up, the Dark Knight. You'll need black, yellow, and cheddar. For most of these logos, the name of the game is Symmetry. I really only had to design half of the bat symbol here, and then it's as easy as mirroring it on the other side and filling in the black. There we go. It's even easier with the black outline because I only have to design a fourth of it. Then I'll mirror that to the bottom side, then mirror the whole thing to the other half. That's a pretty handy technique if you're ever making anything that's evenly rounded like circles or ovals. Now we iron both sides of these bat boys, but before I iron the back, I just want to show you what the unironed side looks like. As I've said before, some further artists prefer to display this side, and the good news for you is, because this logo is perfectly symmetrical, you have the option to just choose which side you like more. This is why we did Batman first, because you won't get that option with Superman. Unless you're okay with him turning into Bizarro. Now we do the yellow background, filling in the blanks of the symbol. But once that's done, I'll always add some extra beads on the inside and outside to give us a little wiggle room when gluing the piece together. The last thing we want is empty gaps showing between the layers of beads. Next up, the Man of Steel. You'll need red, cran apple, yellow, and cheddar. Pay attention when you're ironing, and you may notice some board lines forming where your pegboards meet. These can easily become the downfall of your beadwork, as the beads along that line don't always melt properly, and can fall apart when you move your piece. Be sure to give them some extra attention with your iron. Carefully take your piece off the boards, and resume evenly distributing the heat so you get a nice smooth finish. Now, the yellow background, and just like Batman's, I'm going to fill in the blanks, and then add an extra ring of beads around each section to give myself some slack in the gluing process. I should note that we easily could have just filled in the yellow bits of the symbol and made this one big piece, and that's fine, but by putting the layers on multiple levels, we're really increasing the 3D look and elevating the presentation. And Wonder Woman. Only yellow and cheddar required. And by now you should know, I only have to design half of Wonder Woman's logo, and the other half is a reflection. When in doubt, use symmetry, my friends. It's naturally attractive to the eye and gives the overall piece a clean, professional look. I found that these logos look their best on a painted 12 by 16 inch canvas. Naturally, we do all of our gluing on the back side of the logos where it won't be seen. That extra row of beads we put around the bottom layer makes this a lot easier. I use pieces of black foam core to keep the piece nice and sturdy. And there we go, the big three of DC. And if you'd like to try this project yourself, here's something that might make your life a little easier. The patterns! That's right, click this link and I'll put it in the description as well. All the patterns are on pixelartshop.com, absolutely free. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.